All right, all right, what is up, my lovely people? I just got done uh, recording a different video in a different lobby, in an open arena lobby, just discovering the fact that there's actually a pause option in the middle of a match that you are playing in to go back to the room. So you can, I don't know if maybe like the player that does this is docked with a loss like immediately upon doing it, but you can quite, somebody, at Arc System Works, literally put in the functionality to be able to rage quit out of a match without actually leaving the lobby. Blew my fucking mind. I still can't believe it. That is the most ridiculous thing I have seen in a fighting game in a very long time. It, oh my god, I can't believe somebody did that. But anyway, so we're here. Hopefully good connection with new people. I believe I remember this Marth FE person from a different, uh, from one of the, my first videos of Persona 4 Arena. And then we got a red bot, red square person in here called Mini Keith. So we're going to see, and hopefully we're going to see some high quality shit. But, uh, the reason I did this was actually because I needed to talk about some things. So firstly, ooh, we got an Adachi. Man, I'm seeing way too many Adachis today. This is like the fourth one. Um... So, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Obviously, I uploaded that little teaser with the glitch that shit that happened. Um, and so, I have the playthrough obviously done because that was the final level that that glitch happened on. But so, I uploaded the very first video, and the very first video was hit with a copyright strike from Rooster Teeth. Not a copyright strike, but a copyright notice that Rooster Teeth owns visual content that has occurred in this game. You can imagine my bewilderment at that fact, being that uh, Rooster Teeth as a company was not even around when Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was created, so obviously so I just I let it sit there and I'm starting to upload the rest of them just to see if any more of them have any like ridiculous copyright strikes. Um, so, but I have looked into it and um, yeah, see, his all-out attack is actually not that bad, to be perfectly honest. Like, his is one of the faster ones in the game that I'm noticing. But now you're gonna just start getting hit by Mitsuru. Oh, shit, can she get a full combo off that? Ooh. Oh, man. That was actually a not- Oh, shit, he's dead, though. Like, one touch, this dude is dead. I can't believe that shit. Oh, do it again. Oh, 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 one touch. And he one touch! All these people need is one touch. Ooh, anti air. But yeah, because his overhead and his, I mean, not his overhead, his all-out attack and his DP have the same exact animation. I can't believe they would make a DP that's an overhead, though. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. Get in that ass, Mitsuru. Didn't really get in that ass out of successfully, Mitsuru. I gotta be honest though, like out of most of the cast, Adachi kind of looks like he's one of the more fun ones to play. But of course, that could be complete bullshit. Nice use of Meeper? Because there are plenty of characters that look like they should be fun to play, and then you actually play them, and you're like, wow, this actually. This character isn't fun at all. And the, like li the likelihood of that happening in this game. Okay, so anyway, so Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so I'm uploading the entire series first and just putting them all on private so I can see whether or not any more of them are going to get copyright uh, notices on them. Rooster Teeth did, I mean, I don't know if it was somebody from YouTube or it was somebody from Rooster Teeth that looked into it, but the copyright claim is gone now. So, at least that's happened. I just want to make sure there's not anything else because I did, that was the first copyright claim that I've ever disputed. And I never, like, I'm, I'm kind of wary of that because copyright law in general is just so vague and so open to interpretation that, like, you could really get backhanded hard by something just, you know, by basically getting, like, the incorrect impression, basically. So, I'm really wary about that shit. So, I'm uploading everything first. I only have two more videos to still upload. And then I will be done. But anyway, now we're going to see my fraudulent as hell. Show me Nazuki. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. The good thing is that against Mitsuru, you can actually get a um uh her his show standing jump loop. That's kind of that's kind of a poor term for it. His jump loop against standing characters. There we go. 
And that's basically the only combo that I know, besides his basic B and B. I need to learn Fatal Counter Combos. And I'm gonna learn them very soon. But I need to learn footsies too. I need to learn footsies and I need to get methods to actually be landing those in the first place. Alright, that charged up must be safe. Body myself. Try to backdash. Oh shit, am I dead here if I don't burst? That's a really fucking dirty setup. You don't even, cause you don't even see that shit. It's off screen. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely safe. Okay, okay, okay. I'm punished for that, yeah. I just need to stop using that. Bad footsies. Ah, oh, I didn't get the dash. Terrible. Fucking terrible. I tried to I tried to grab that. Mm, I don't know how to play footsies with this character yet. The thing, the thing too, is that like the only reason I don't want to play footsies with this character yet is because I refuse to lean on 5A. Except you should. You, there's like there's literally no reason not to lean on 5A and just use it nonstop. And my my silly ass pride is just like no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna learn how to play real footsies, but. That is, that is, that's, that's show footsies in a nutshell. 5A. That's it. That's all you need for a footsie tool, and you just confirm properly. It's stupid of me to not be doing this. It's too bad that his, uh, his projectile is a charge move. Because it just makes it, like... In a game like this, the last thing I want to be doing is standing idle and getting ready to charge a move. Is absolutely the last, and there, he, there's no use of using that move like in block strings or combos or anything. So there's no reason to bother like charging mid combo or mid block string or anything. So that move is just—it's terrible, especially against a character like Mitsuru who can use that persona whippish thing to just body you. Oh, I didn't know Shadow Labras had the chain move. Chain move, not change. Confirm, oh, man. Keep hitting buttons. Okay, well, not like that. Nice. 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 That ass Shadow Labras. I have no idea what that move was. <laughs> I literally have no idea what the hell that move was. Oh, not. Oh, okay. So it's like a reload. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Persona. Don't. Do not get Persona broken. That was a nice tick, bro. Oh, shit. Do not get Persona broken. Please, Shadow Labras player. DP. It's a good player. How is she laughing, but Shadow Labras isn't actually, like, moving at all? Like, the voice is laughing, but Shadow Labras' mouth isn't moving, she's not moving. Oh, that sucks. God, that damn Dio Mitsuru. 3K. Just like that, 3K. That sucks. 
I guess they thought it wasn't gonna work. I don't know. You know good players though. Shadow Labyrinth is just. Shadow Labyrinth is one of those like ones where it's just you gotta learn how to play that character specifically because if you aren't sitting there, damn, quick punch. If you aren't sitting there holding down block like he's doing right now, except it got a didn't quite work because it got broken. But yeah, you just you have to hold down a button all the time. When you, whenever you're getting hit, whenever like in neutral, you basically have to be holding down a button so your persona doesn't get broken constantly. And I let me tell you, man, playing zero, playing jury, I am no damn good at holding down a button all the damn time. Like it's just, it's uncomfortable. I really, I just really dislike it in general having to do it. Beautiful combo with this. Yo, sick. Oh man, all that work and she got an extra 1k for it. Shit. I mean, the Shadow Labyrinth is still in this, but very near Persona broken. Oh shit. Confused, yep. Sucks. That affliction sucks. Especially, like, because I'm sure there's actually a timer that people can be aware of. And, like, Mitsu I can honestly imagine how dirty Mitsuru would be. Like, if you learn that count and you, f you actually, you know, count it out and you do that, uh, her charge, little stab shit, right when it wears off. So, like, you're sitting there holding, you know, forward back. I mean, not forward, forward back. Uh, down forward to actually block down back. And then it wears off. And boom. Body. God, that would suck. You never react to that in time. What a pain in the ass. But yay, more Nadachi. I like watching Nadachi. One of the few characters in this game I actually enjoy watching. Yukari is fun to watch. Good Labrys is fun to watch. Hmm. I can't see the rest of the cast now. I should know it by heart. Oh, a good Teddy is fun to watch. Yosuke. Just because of how fucking crazy he is. But most of the cast is just boring to watch. I think that's why Persona 4 Arena... I mean, like, there's, there's a multitude of reasons why Persona 4 Arena in general is considered, like... Why a lot of people don't really consider it to be that great a game. There's obviously, you know... One button DPs and all out attacks, or not all out attacks, one uh, auto combos. Those are cited by the lower level of people a lot, which, you know, like, whatever. Anybody that's any good. Well, I mean, I guess there is an argument to be made for it in regard to cross ups. So, like, you know, obviously, one way of dealing with DPs is to try and cross up their inputs so they get something else entirely, which I have done. Which I do a fair amount. Oh, God. Yeah, good luck. It's just like, it's not necessarily difficult to actually, like, block stuff, but it just, it's so unnatural. It's completely unnatural to block like that. Nice, I haven't seen that combo before. Oh, nice, I have not seen this combo before, that's sick. Oh, I thought he might get a super after the- oh my god. Yo, his DP just went through the entire animation right there? Go Adachi. That's a lot of invincibility, dude. That's a good answer. Well, I mean, it's a situational answer here. If somebody blocks it, your life's really gonna suck. Like that. Except it didn't suck that badly. Yeah. Is there really even any particular reason to block this? I guess that would be it. I was gonna say, like, is there even any reason to bother blocking this character low? Does he have anything dangerous? Oh shit, dead. Yep. Yo, shout out to Bufudine. <gasps> oh man, that moves so good. And you can comp you can do two of them too. You can do two of them, or you can uh there's even one where like you can only do one of them, but if the person texts, Bufudine is air unblockable. <laughs> So you just get hit with the dry Bufu dying, which is just fantastic. Something somebody should experience at least once in their life, all the time. It's just amazing. Oh, that sucks. Adachi's so reliant on his persona for everything. 
combos neutral. General scare factor. Guess that's not an overhead? I don't think they blocked that high. Yeah, he's doing that far too high in the air. It's kind of the same thing with Ken's JB. Like, sure, it does have a really low hitbox. But there's... You'll almost always... Like, if somebody blocks it that high in the air, they'll almost always punish it. But I don't know if you... Because you can jump cancel Ken's JB on block. And you can also, if you're in front of the person, you can do a falling J2B and make it safe anyway. Which I don't believe Adachi has either of those options. So time to get blown up by Mitsuru again. Maybe I can actually land a loop on her. I'm trying to look like who else is fun in this game to watch and there's really nobody. <laughs> Yosuke, I like in watching Adachi. I like watching Labrys. And that's basically it. And those are all characters I want to play, too. But even the characters I play, I'm like, ah, I don't really care about watching them. <laughs> like, they're not fun to watch. Akihiko isn't really all that fun to watch. Like, watching a couple matches with a good Akihiko can be fun, be just because, like, you see the way they read people. And, like, the way they have to read people to get the reward they do out of Akihiko. Um, oh, Teddy, that's right, I forgot to mention Teddy. But like Ken, he's not fun at all to watch. He's a really dull character. That was supposed to be his. With punish. Damn. Did I hit the wrong buttons? I did hit the wrong buttons. I meant to turn around and I hit air throw instead because I'm godlike. Try to throw. How the hell? Maybe I accidentally double tap. Really? Really? I mean, that was terrible. I shouldn't have done that. I need to start doing actual block strings and actual mix up. Using his all his all out attack is absolutely not mix up. Fuck! Thanks for bursting one hit late, so I took that extra damage there. Good answer. Yeah, this dude's good. This dude's patient. Like, that's... It's easy to beat people with show against people that, like, just, you know, they just run around like me willy-nilly. Don't really have a game plan behind their movement. Don't really have a game plan behind the normals they throw out. It's easy to fight them in neutral because I can, I, can, I can open them up because all I have to do is pick a normal that beats their normal. Against a player like this, they're waiting for me to make the mistake. They're allowing me. They know, they know that I don't have the mix-up yet to open them up. And this is the kind of player that I need to play against. Because I will never beat this player continuing to play the way I have been playing. It will not happen. Well then, let's go. <laughs> like, I need to be doing staggered 5As for potential frame traps. I need to be doing uh his cross-up Rekka stuff. I need to be doing his... Maybe not cross-up Rekka stuff, but I need to be using his Rekkas to make his normal safe. Because you can't... Uh, Using like 5B or 5C as your ender, it's not, those aren't good. Those are not, those are pretty negative on block. Very rare that you'll get punished for it because uh, of how far away you generally are upon using those moves, but still, you certainly don't have the advantage. So, I mean, these are the kind of people that, like, I need to stick around and play. Because these are the kind of people that are actually going to make me up my game to actually hit them. 
versus playing people that basically just run into shit all the time. Like, I could probably... Damn, this dude's already on his persona broken. You just... That is... You cannot get forget. Oh, I cannot believe this dude went in when persona broken. That's just the worst possible situation with Shadow Labyrinth. Like, you can have a huge... Like, look how much red life this dude has. This dude's actually dead. You can have a huge life lead on somebody. But if you get Persona broken in Shadow Labyrinth, you are just hopeless. Oh nice, got the grab. That's damage too. We rolled through. That's one thing, I don't know how many of you guys watched the NorCal scene, and I don't know if he still even plays Persona 4 Arena. But uh, Orion X Elite was a very good Shadow Labyrinth player. And that was one of the very dirt. There, she does have a lot of dirt. Like, once she actually gets momentum, Shadow Labyrinth is easily one of the dirtiest characters. So does he. Oh, okay, that's why he's winning. Oh, that's bad, though. That's a bad ender. No. Please. Oh, okay. I was going to say, please, God, no. Don't allow that to actually combo into death. Mitsuru certainly has that potential. Oh, shit. She might be dead here. Bufudine, another charge. Oh, yeah, using that uh, that punch move. Nice attempt at a reversal. It's worth a shot. Um, he would use that punch move and then roll through, like right as the punch started up. And it's a decent 50-50 because you know. The slightest variance and difference can cause her to cross up or not cross up. It's a very dirty mix-up. I don't know if she still has this, but she had an unblockable reset in vanilla, where on Wake Up you could properly, t if you timed a jump move, um, actually no, yeah, no, no, if you timed a 2B, if you timed a grounded 2B at the same time as their Wake Up as, um, the person as you wanna play with Jesus these? Christ I can't even talk I'm so tired right now I don't know why I'm still recording it's been too long uh if you knock somebody down you can set up a 2b and then well, go into and then go. have your have her shadow do commit the command grab move and if timed correctly it's basically you either jump out of the command grab and you get hit by the 2b or you stay there and the command grab grabs you and the 2b goes through like split second later like the smallest amount of frames later that you can manage but you can dp out of that depending some people would wait and so like the command grab would go through and then they would do the 2b so like if you did try to um if you did try to dp then they would block it and be safe but then also you could just mash out a uh, you could mash out a move at the beginning Damn, that's crouching confirm. That's gonna be. Suru is just so strong. Like she's just she's one of those characters that's like she's just so solid in every area. That it is just that it just makes it difficult to beat her. So yeah, that's definitely not an overhead because she just blocked that crouching. So why do so many people use that move? It's not even an overhead. Why did he just treat that like a command grab? Punish. Probably could have. There's the command grab. Oh, this is gonna be damn. Oh, that should have been death. Because he had 41 meters, so that probably would have been. <laughs> that was funny. Didn't even bother auto correcting herself. That is one of the worst facets of this game, though. Being able to super cancel DPs. 
So for a lot of characters, it's just, you know, you block their DP and now it's another, co like, oh hey, I baited this properly. Now am I going to have to bait the super too or do I just let them, do I let them live for that? And it's just a really shitty situation overall. Dachi, finish your combos. Oh yeah, he would have been dead if he hadn't bursted. Oh, might be. Nope. Oh, dead now. She just. Oh. He's just so good. She's such a good character. Scary as hell. Air grab. Oh shit, that's what 4K, isn't it? Oh. There you go. Oh, oh, and into that too. Lost damage, lost Oki, and then you eat 2.3k for your troubles. Oh, he was wanting DP. Called him out. Expecting DP, just threw him. That dude's dead. God, that character! <laughs> Alright, last match. And I'm already, I feel it. I'm getting tired. I'm getting sluggish. Hope I don't win. There's like a 1% chance that I could win against this dude right now, at my current quality. Ah, oh, but I'll have to remember to look out for this dude's lobbies, because the connection's good. And like I said, this is the kind of player that's gonna make you... They're gonna make you kill yourself, so you gotta have the ability to not kill yourself. Essentially, like, you gotta be, you gotta be able to not be stupid, and that's all I do right now, is be stupid. We gotta fix that. Playing against people like this will force me to. Either that or I'm just gonna lose. I'm gonna have a .002% win rate online because I refuse to adapt, I guess. Damn. Nice throw. That's gonna hurt too. I'm a fraud. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to throw and I hit the wrong buttons and now I'm dead. Oh, not quite. I tried to DP that, but I was still in block stun. Like, I knew that was coming. I knew something dirty was coming. God, it's too good. My life. Nice answer, shit. Damn right. But I did better there. I did better, I just don't know how to play footsies against Mitsuri. I didn't 5A once. That's my problem. My 5A ain't enough. I need to use more 5A. Like, pure and simple. I need to use more A buttons in general. I need to stagger 2. Like, you saw me. I caught him with a stagger 2A into a tick, bro. I need to be doing more of that. I need to be using more 5A in neutral. And 
I need to be doing more cross-up Rekka stuff, because that's unreactable. Like, it doesn't matter if it's online or not. Good shit, bro. You are good. Much better than me. 